morning. So my trip on this round takes me up to flying into Medford, Oregon and driving down to Rica, California, Northern California, Bigfoot country. I'll be meeting, I'll be meeting James up there in um, Seattle. And then we're gonna fly down to Medford, rent a car and drive down to Wairica, California. So let's check it out. Every time I wake up, I feel like it's Monday Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain All of a sudden, I don't look at anything the same way Gotta build up of my thoughts sitting in an ashtray I'm sorry that I'm so inconvenient, okay Just let me be me and I'll stay out of your way I can see the way you look at me, I'm such a disgrace I never really asked to be brought into this place You wanna love me? Well then baby, I have a taste All the highs and the lows, no, you'll never be the same Cause you're trying 
you try to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey Made it to Medford, Oregon. James there is going to run a car for us. So from here, we got to travel about an hour into California, uh, down straight down south. So pretty good trip so far. You know, no no major problems. So all right, man, stick with us. Could have had a Dodge Challenger upgrade. But you're you're gonna see what we just rented just now. <laughs> you're gonna see it. Ooh. Sounds exciting. What a nice I know, day. Uh, I'm pretty excited. Whatever Hugo is, that's <laughs> that's what we rented. Hugo. <laughs> we are here. <laughs> so the town, the town that we're staying in, has nothing. Is that what you're telling me? Yes. <laughs> Don't have anything there. It's uh, basically like going to... Uh, Forty Fights. Forty Fights. <laughs> where Ernie lives at. <laughs> Just kidding, Forty Fights. <laughs> <laughs> Don't send your Yanos after him. <laughs> so that's the car we could have had. This guy said, nah. No, he said, he said we don't get hardship checks. What are you talking about? He said it's too slow. Instead, but check this out. But look at this guy blinking right here. One? No, oh, look at man. this guy blinking right here. Holy smokes! Are you serious? Huh? Huh? <laughs> Dang, it's a historic moment. I've never been in a Mercedes Benz. Mr. Sosa, your luggage, please. <laughs> Mercedes El Benzo. Damn, this guy. Kentucky. Hey, hey, it was a, it was a free upgrade from. If you rent now, here's the, here's the key thing for renting vehicles. You can actually go entry level and then get to the rental counter and tell them, do you have a free rental? And if they have cars coming in, they'll give you a free rental. No way. Upgrade, upgrade. <laughs> not the free rental, but a free upgrade. See that? I did not know that. Check the, this Kentucky man. This is Dalton's car from Roadhouse. The name is Dalton. <laughs> this guy just threw my bag out. Get this out of here. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Trying to stack it. Don't <laughs> let him lie to you. <laughs> Mercedes has got a little kick. <laughs> got a little kick to it. And we're getting pulled over. Dang! <laughs> Not the bat. And we, got, we just got pulled over. Right, they came right off the gate. This is our lunch spot. We can try some seafood. That's what I'm gonna try right there. Time chowder. Prawns. Let's do this. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, Pardon me. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
is where Nemo lives. <laughs> Hang on a little longer. Thank you. Bye, guys. Thank All you. Right. What's the verdict? Yeah. The verdict is uh, pretty good. good. Man. Oh, good man. stuff, huh? He thought Captain D's was good. Yeah. So now this is Captain <laughs> D's times two. This is Captain Double D's. Yeah. yeah. The verdict was it's good, good, good place, good seafood. Now we're on to the next venture, coffee. Let's go. Looking for coffee shop. There's one over there. Went to a drive-up one, but I might try that later. Anyway. So here in Medford, Oregon, man, the weather is really nice. It's uh, it's actually hot. I'm sweating it out. <laughs> but I'm um, here with James and his wife Rose, and we're headed to Wairika, California, which is only about 53 miles away. So we're gonna cross into California here, and we have a show tomorrow. Two shows tomorrow: a presentation at school, and also um, a community presentation. So that's why we're here. And again, pretty nice here. Nice weather. Good to be out and about again on another journey. So thank you for joining me again on Ernie's Road Video Journal, vlog, good medicine. Uh, yeah, see you soon. Five fifty four to run this minor street, then turn left onto West Some Minor Street. Yeah, turn left onto West Minor Street, then turn it's right onto on. South Main Street. This is downtown that way, and then um, right, Mingus. turn right onto South Main Street. Downtown, yeah.
All right, we made it to the venue here in Wairika, California. That's where we'll be performing tomorrow. Tomorrow night, two shows, one in the afternoon, one in the evening. Let's check it out. Oh, right here, okay. okay. Yeah, because they can just come up and they can go on the Did you guys need a chair? Yeah, and they were. The sign in the window yeah. was backwards. It's oh. really bakery. And the B was taken oh. off. So we thought the town was by Rico, and that's why they called it. <laughs> that's funny. It's supposed to be bakery. It's like, oh, it was a bakery. I thought it was a traveling. <laughs> Mic check one, two, three. Mic check one, two, three. Good evening. Welcome to the bakery. <laughs> check one, two, Mike, check. Man, that's a good, that's a good sound. Good sound. Check two, check, check, check. Mic check one, two, one, two. Yeah. Your destination is on the right. Oh, right there. Not right here. It's even open. This door is closed on back entrance. Yeah, give this place a give this place a try. We'll see what all the hubbub is about shenanigans. Shenanigans. It's, it's native owned, so that's the deciding factor. Or is it snagigans? <laughs> or is it naughtiness? This is shenanigans. It's pretty busy tonight. <laughs> we got here right before the rush. <laughs> Look at that, it's packed out. Good day here in um, Wairika. Gonna go through the museum, local museum here. As you can see, we've got some here in the uh, Native American section. These are the Karuk tribe of California Indians. We got some cool names here. Check this out. Kahuka Jim. Bogus Charlie. Some cool names there. Steamboat Frank and uh, Shack Master Jim. <laughs> anyway, uh, thanks again for joining joining me on this trip, and let's go check it out. Here's one. So this museum is in eras, so looks like this is the early 1900s, maybe.
medical medical stuff. Now headed into the outdoor portion of this museum. So we just came from over there. Eureka. And now here. First stop here. The schoolhouse. Pretty cool, like a little a little town there. A little historic town. So this would have been a schoolhouse back in the day. One room schoolhouse. That's cool. Teacher desk. Troublemakers, troublemakers chair. These old desk, student desk. That must be a uh, history. <laughs> Pretty cool bookshelf though. Stove. Okay, so this must be Pet Boys Mechanics. AutoZone O'Reilly's. Dang. I was gonna give it, give it a shot. Man, look at those big old elk antlers. It's like a trophy elk. Look at this big old giant chainsaw, man. Forging, coal forge, old saddle. It's very cool. You know, I like doing. I like uh, historic archaeology as well. Historic archaeology being like you know stuff from the eighteen hundreds, seventeen, sixteen hundreds are kind of the early stuff as opposed to ancient archaeology. I like the building, the barn. It's cool. Got a loft up there. The Davis cabin. Oh wow. 
So up in the store. That'll be 35 cents. Big Chief tablet. Sewing room. Post office box. I guess this would be the post office. Oh, operator, switchboard. Cheese cutter. So that was our experience here at the, uh, what's, the, what's the name of the town again? Wairika. Wairika. <laughs> Wairika Museum. We just had some, we just got schooled by uh, a local 80 year old man was telling us about the history of uh, the place and pretty interesting. Learned a lot. So. Yeah, every, every region was known for uh, their specialty. Like, like here, there was a uh, battle between the people that were yeah. Not of color. Yeah. Um, and the Native Americans. Yep. And uh, turns out that they were friendly. But there's a question that uh, I think that probably even we could all ask ourselves: is uh, in in the in war, there's certain things that happen. But what's the outcome? Yeah. What's what's really what's the what's really going to be the outcome of all of this? If we've done things peacefully. What would that piece bring? Just, right. just something to think about. Food for thought. Food for thought. And uh, there's, there's the lady back there. You can see her back there. She uh, gave us pretty good history lessons. Yeah. <laughs> and um, it is a difficult road. It's something that you really have to just kind of hold your tongue and just kind of mm -hmm. keep it, and you have to, you have to know who you are, so you don't get offended by every little yeah. thing that happens out there. That's right. If you're going to fight a battle, you may as well fight it for faith. Amen. Yeah, good one. Uh -oh. Here in, here at the venue, Wairika, the Karuk tribe. Those are openers on stage right now. Local comedians telling some jokes. He says, hey, G, I'm excited for you. He says, you see that mountain over there? He says, I want to get rid of that mountain. He says, well, back in Texas, I get in my truck, drive all day, wake up the next morning, drive all day again. Next morning, get up and drive all day again. The Indian says, yeah, I got a pick up like that too. <laughs> <laughs>back to the airport dropping off this awesome car we, we named this uh was dalton might just call it sadie res reservation mercedes 
but that was good it was a good show it was a good uh had their um yeah really good show we did, we did two two presentations james and i one for the youth and then one for the community so i was all right man where it was uh, felt pretty good to be back on uh, the duo james and ernie we have done uh, we don't really do a lot of james and ernie but we're starting to get let's get some jobs here and there so it's good but today heading back to to albuquerque and um thanks for joining me on this on this journey i always forget to like uh take some footage of you know things i see along the way but i forget that i'm, I'm vlogging and i missed out on some cool things but um anyway again thanks a lot keep your joy uh, the joy of the lord is our strength and um exodus 14 14 god says i will fight for you and you shall hold your peace so that's something i pray for just for myself and my family that the lord fights for me and we hold our peace the peace of the lord which transcends all understanding that's the kind of peace i want so if you're in a position to where you want that peace and you want some joy, then just ask the Lord for it. All right, take care and um, see you in the next one.